the fossils were discovered because of the quest for coal. So that was in the middle of the 1800s. The Carboniferous was from 360 to 300 million years. And generally, the location of the Joggins was down here on the equator at that time. And so they found these huge trees in the cliffs. And inside the trees were remains of the earliest reptiles. So Joggins marks the place on the evolutionary tree of life where creatures were able to crawl out of the swamps and live on land. So it's the, the branch of the tree that leads to mammals, us, birds and reptiles. When you start to learn a little bit about it, I mean you come down here, you think it's a rocky beach with cliffs, and you start to understand a little bit of the, the significance of it. Charles Darwin wrote about Joggins and on the origin of the species, so it's mentioned in there when he was trying to defend the, the theory of evolution and, and natural selection, he used Joggins as a reference point. The other thing that's neat about Joggins is that because the cliffs are sloped as they are, uh, you can imagine them being laid down flat. So layer upon a layer, and the deeper you go, the older it gets. And then when you walk and tilt it up this way now, when we walk this way, we actually walk back in time. Throughout the summer, we provide uh, guided tours, um, one to two hours long. You can book a longer private tour. Um, we provide interpretation in the centre as well as out on the beach. We can host conferences. The uh, centre is wireless, it has high speed, we have uh, video conferencing capabilities. The fact about Joggins is that the international community has recognised it as being significant. And so the whole deal with that is that um, Joggins is of outstanding universal value, so it's valuable for everybody, forever. And it has to be managed and maintained.